What's going on everybody and welcome to another Pokemon Theory. Today we're going to be talking about one of the oldest and most well-known characters in the Pokemon universe, Professor Samuel Oak. For many people, this was the first person they saw when they started out their Pokemon adventure, and he's always had a presence in the Pokemon games. Whether it's the original games, or even Gold, Silver, and Crystal, he's always taken an interest in the protagonist and has been like a mentor to the player. But do we really know everything about this man? Well today, we're going to be taking a look at a theory that claims that Professor Rope was at one point in time, a Pokemon League champion. Before we jump into all of the nitty gritty details, I'm first going to briefly go over which versions of Professor Oak we're going to be taking a look at. As many people know, there are multiple different versions of Professor Oak all across the Pokemon franchise. Ranging from the mangas to the animes, Professor Oak has many different versions of himself. For this theory, I'll be looking at three different Professor Oaks. The Professor Oak from the Pokemon Adventure slash Special Manga, the Professor Oak from the mainline Pokemon anime, and the Professor Oak from the games. Now, while all of these Oaks do have a lot in common, there are several differences between them that might hint at some of them being champions. Alrighty, let's get started. The first Oak I'll be going over is the Professor Oak from the Pokemon Adventure series. A quick side note, but I wholeheartedly recommend reading this manga if you're a fan of Pokemon. It's absolutely terrific. Anyways, back on topic. Figuring out if this version of Professor Oak was a champion is actually very easy to do, as he says that he was one right in the pages of the manga. Before we dive into what exactly Oak says, we need to take a look at the manga version of the Pokemon League. So in the manga, as well as the anime, the Pokemon League is actually a tournament that trainers enter into. This is much different than the games, where the Pokemon League is composed of the Elite Four and a champion. Both of these technically count as the Pokemon League though, even though they are fairly different challenges. In Pokemon Adventures, during the Pokemon League Championships at the end of the Red, Green, and Blue chapter, trainers Red, Green, and Blue all make it into the semi-finals of the Pokemon League. A mysterious man named Dr. O also makes it into the semi-finals as well. Dr. O in Green Battle, with him beating her using only a Spearow. After the battle, he reveals his identity and, shocker, it's Professor Oak. Who could have possibly seen through his disguise? Professor Oak had then made it into the finals of the tournament. Before Red and Blue are about to battle to determine who will face Professor Oak in the finals, Professor Oak says that he is actually dropped out of the league. He says that, I've already won myself a championship, I don't need this. Professor Oak pretty much just drops a giant bomb on everyone. He confirms that he has indeed been a champion before, and in flashbacks throughout the manga, it shows that he and Agatha faced off against each other in the past to become the champion. Okay, so now we know for sure that the manga version of Professor Oak was a league champion at one point in time, so let's move on to the next Professor Oak, the anime version. Unlike the manga version though, or even the game version, we really don't get much information to go off of regarding the anime Professor Oak's backstory. His past self does make an appearance in the fourth Pokemon movie, but we really don't learn much about him from that. We can assume that he's a Pokemon trainer as he's shown to have a Charmeleon, but that's about all we can really learn from his time traveling self. In order to try and learn more information, and possibly find out if he has a history with the League, I watched through all of the first season's episodes that had Professor Oak at the Pokemon League event. Much to my dismay, Professor Oak never mentions having been there before, and doesn't even hint at the possibility of him once entering or competing in the tournament. It's possible that I might have missed a quote or something he said somewhere, but as of right now, we just don't have enough information to say that this Professor Oak was ever a champion. I'm going to go out on a limb and say that the anime Professor Oak was never the champion of the Kanto region. Okay, so with two Oaks down, we only have one to go. The Professor Oak from the games is the final Professor Oak we'll be taking a look at. This Oak is the one that has the majority of theories about him, so we'll be able to do a lot of theorizing and speculation. So let's start off with Oak's relationship to Agatha, of the Elite Four. 
In the games, Agatha's dialogue hints at some kind of relationship between her and Oak. When first talking to her in the original games, she says, I am Agatha of the Elite Four. Oak's taken a lot of interest in you, child. That old duff was once tough and handsome. That was decades ago. Now he just wants to fiddle with his Pokédex. He's wrong. Pokémon are for fighting. I'll show you how a real trainer fights. As you've just seen, Agatha has some pretty strong feelings towards our good professor. Another quote that references Oak and Agatha's past is found in the form of the Fame Checker in Fire Red and Leaf Green. The quote says, In her youth, Agatha and Professor Oak were rivals who vied for supremacy as trainers. I think now we have a pretty clear picture of Oak and Agatha's relationship. Professor Oak and Agatha were once rivals who competed against one another. That much we know is fact, and here's where the theory comes in. When you think about it, why would Agatha be so angry and bitter at Oak if they were just rivals? Something more must have happened, and many have speculated that Oak beat Agatha at the Pokemon League. Now, if she was a member of the League, or possibly the champion, nobody knows. But some people have theorized that she was the champion when Oak beat her thus demoting her down to the Elite Four members. Perhaps her hatred of Oak came when he then resigned as champion to focus on his research and become a professor. These are all theories though, and none of this has been confirmed in the games. The only thing official we know about them is what Agatha has said about Oak, and what the Fame Checker has said about them being rivals. The next big piece of evidence that possibly points to Professor Oak being a champion is actually cut content from the original games. Through the magic of glitches, you can actually access a cut battle against Professor Oak in the original games. He uses the starter that the player and the rival didn't pick, and has a team with high levels and many similar Pokemon to your rivals. Unfortunately, we don't know why this battle was cut or where it would be used at, but many people have speculated that he was going to be the original champion you faced at the end of the game. There's no way to know for sure if he was going to be the champion you faced originally in the games, but it could definitely be possible, considering his high team levels and how his team closely resembles your rival's championship team at the end of the game. Perhaps they just switched who the champion was late in development. Alright, I do have one last theory regarding the Professor Oak from the games, but it's kind of a big stretch. Now, I know that crossing the lore between different mediums of the franchise usually doesn't make sense, but I think that Pokemon Adventures might give us clues as to the game Professor Oak being a champion. Now, what I'm about to say is a pretty crazy and far-fetched theory, but I do think it makes a little bit of sense. The Pokemon Adventures manga is based a lot more on the games than the anime is. For example, in Pokemon Adventures, the female trainer, named Blue or Green depending on where you live, is clearly based on the cut female player character that was originally going to appear in Pokemon Red and Green. This leads me to speculate that perhaps the Pokemon Adventures depiction of Professor Oak as a champion is actually based on the Professor Oak from the games. Of course, we never definitively learn if he's a champion in the games, but perhaps Pokemon Adventures based their depiction of Professor Oak on cut content that would have confirmed him to be a champion. Much like how Trainer Green is based off of the cut female trainer class from the games. Like I said before, this is all just speculation and theories on my part, and Pokemon Adventures definitely takes liberties from the story in the games so it's entirely possible that Professor Oak being a champion was all its own idea. And with that, we've covered all of the evidence surrounding if the various Professor Oaks were at one point in time League Champions. For what it's worth, I definitely think it's possible that the Oak from the video games was a champion. There's a lot of evidence to support it, mainly from the cup battle and from what Agatha says about him. It would definitely be a pretty cool twist if they came out and revealed that he was secretly a champion the whole time. Thanks for watching this Pokemon theory on if Professor Oak was a champion. Hopefully I didn't get anything too wrong, and if I did, feel free to comment below with corrections or opinions. Thanks again for watching, and I'll catch you later.